Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, The Crafty Closet. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to do sublimation for beginners. And this is strictly for my new subby, not sublim, not, not subscribers, but my new subbies. This is new to sublimation. This is for, this is for y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do sublimation for beginners. And we're gonna call this, um, we're gonna call this sublimation 101, okay? You finally got your sublimation printer. Itching and scratching to use it, but you're still confused and don't know what to do. Well, get in here and watch this video. Now, for this project, I'm going to be using some sublimation blanks. And before I tell you that part, I'm also going to tell you that I'm going to show you the most common mistake made when it comes to doing sublimation. Because, baby, I made the same mistakes too. But that's why I'm here to make them so you don't have to. Now, for this project, I'm going to be using some sublimation blanks. And that just means something that you could sublimate on, so they're called sublimation blanks. Now we have some 100% polyester shirts, and we also have a tote, so this should be cool, because the tote is black, and then we got a, a two different color shirts, so, you know, we should see how, that, let's see how that goes, right? And then you're gonna need your sublimation paper. I'm using the A-sub sublimation paper. This is the paper I used when I was first learning how to sublimate. And it's a great paper, so I said, I'm just going to show you guys how to use the sublimation paper, and we're going to be using the A-sub sublimation paper. And then, of course, you need your sublimation printer, right? Can't do any of this without it. Now, this is my converted Epson EcoTank 2803. So, this is, a, so this is a printer that I converted into sublimation. And if you got the printer or you got the Epson EcoTank series and you want to learn how to convert it, child go back in my videos i have a video on how to convert this into sublimation once you watch that you come back here and then you will be ready for your first lesson in sublimation now with all of that being said i'm going to show you guys how to sublimate for beginners mistakes and all and all you have to do is stick around All right, now, y'all ready for this lesson, the sublimation lesson? And this is going to be an eye test, y'all. So that means all you have to do is just watch um, what I'm doing so you can get into sublimation. Now, of course, I already printed out all of the images we're going to be using for our sublimation and everything I got off Etsy. So I have uh, four different uh, prints here. I can't wait for you guys to see what they look like when we go ahead to press this. Now, what I forgot to tell you guys and the intro is you also need heat resistant tape and some parchment paper or butcher paper when you're doing sublimation and that's so that when you press it it doesn't transfer onto the bottom of your blank or even on your heat press because i've seen that happen and also we went over the sub a sub paper right so anybody doing sublimation now Child, y'all are so lucky because back in the day, not too long ago, you only had a small footprint to work with when it came to using print then cut for sublimation in Cricut Design Space. Uh, anybody who's been crafting longer than two to three years already knows this, and we really wanted a bigger footprint for printing because you were really limited to less than eight and a half, which is the normal size of your paper, which is eight and a half by 11. Which is this size paper. And finally, you got it. So now you can make bigger prints when it comes to, you know, doing your sublimation. As you can see, this is a pretty this is a pretty, pretty big print. And so this one. And then this one, this is gonna be our, I'm gonna show you guys what's wrong with this. Why this is gonna be our test sheet for mistakes. So you gotta make sure you stick around to see when it's time to press this, the most common mistake made, and it's going to be using the wrong material, y'all. And now this is going to be for our black tote bag. Now you can't see, but there's really writing in here. So I'm gonna go ahead, and when I'm cutting out my 
registration marks. Make sure you cut your registration marks, otherwise it's going to transfer onto your uh, sublimation blanks. I have just have to be careful with this because, um, like I said, there's writing in here, and the writing is white. So if you're going to use polyester, make a dark black polyester. Make sure whatever print you're going to use is colorful and it's uh, printed in white so that you can see it. Now, this size paper is eight and a half by 14, and this size paper is eight and a half by 11. So I have both sublimation sizes paper, and they're both by ASAP. Really good paper. Now, what am I missing? All right, so I'm going to put in a series of slides while I'm talking about what we're going to do now. When it comes to printing, make sure you mirror your image. Sublimation needs to be mirrored. And then you have to, when once you're ready to send it to your printer, you don't have to use your machine because you're not cutting this out. You're just going to freehand it and cut out your reg registration marks with some scissors. You're going to use, you have to make sure you use your print preferences button option. When it goes to print, make sure you use your print preferences option. You're going to turn off the bleed. And then you're going to go into your print preferences, which is all of your controls for your printer. You're going to make sure that you also set your paper to presentation paper mate. You're going to set your paper quality to high. And then in the next tab, you're going to take off the bi-directional printing. Make sure you unclick that. And make sure the mirror isn't, isn't clicked. Now, if you forgot to mirror it when you were printing it, you could always mirror it here if you forget. So remember, if you start and you go, oh, man, I forgot to mirror it, don't worry about it. When you get to these options, you'll be able to mirror your image if you forgot to check off the mirror in your Cricut Design Space. So I think that is um, it. Again, this is a pretty – trying to make this as basic as possible for my new people for sublimation. Don't forget your tape, your paper. We're going to go ahead and print, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and press this. I'm going to show you the press mistake, and I hope you guys stick around to the end to see this fabulousness in all its glory. Let's go. We have to heat press, so that can only mean one thing, right? It's time to press our sublimation shirt. I'm going to start with the biggest mistake that everybody makes when it comes to sublimation. I made this myself. And that's thinking that you could just go ahead and sublimate on anything that's white. Not true. For true sublimation, you have to use 100% polyester for your fabric. You can do 65, 35, which is 65% polyester, 35 cotton, but it's still not going to give you that bright transfer that you're looking for. So for true sublimation, you need to do 100% polyester. Now, can you do it on cotton? You can, but it uses a hack, and I can show you guys a hack video at some point. But again, biggest mistake, and I made the same mistake, is using a 100% cotton shirt on a sublimation print. I've seen the title of the video and videos on YouTube say, oh, sublimate on 100% cotton. Never really clicked in the videos, and this is when I was first starting, and then I was like, oh, you can do it. And child, we realized that was wrong. So let's go to our error first. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you try to sublimate on cotton, 100% cotton. Now, you know I love y'all, but this is a cotton. This is, I'm, couldn't use, this is a blank. That's why I always tell you, this is a, a, a test shirt, a uh, scrap. I always tell you guys, make sure you have scraps available for things like this when you need to learn how you're doing your present projects. Now, this is a scrap shirt. My heat press is set at 362 for 30 seconds. You're going to see what happens when I try to press this at 362 for 30 seconds. I usually will pre-cut my pieces of tape so I can just take them on up and tape them to my image. You're going to see what that means in a second. But again, I'm going to show you the first common mistake first. After that, we're going to breeze through this video. Y'all going to see everything in its true form. And I'm going to end it here with saying, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I appreciate you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, check out the video, share, see what you like, 
and be well my friends now let's get into our mistake and then we're gonna go and breathe through everything else hopefully it's good and let's see what happens y'all take it easy oh before i speed it up 362 for 30 is my setting normally you will see um sublimation calls for 400 it depends on your machine it depends on your press so that's why having scraps is good to learn sometimes 400 may be too hot and it may burn your shirt sometimes um it may be yeah it may be too hot so take some scraps learn your machine make sure you know what the press is right 400 is usually always going to be the standard for sublimation but mine is at 262 because i know my boo she a little temperamental so that's what i need and that's my sweet spot now Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. 